Hey guys, it's me, Xavier, and for this video today, wait, sorry, no, I mean, yes, but also no, because I need to, I need to say some shit first, okay, so, before we begin, yes, we're back to the usual shit, and hopefully it stays that way, unless people want a part two of story time, S sorry, yeah, no, that, that is, that is a pretty bad name, at least, to say out loud. Reading it or writing it, it sounds fine. But saying it out loud, uh, yeah, no, it sounds, it sounds pretty goofy, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, but regardless, anyways, back to the usual shit, as you have already, as I've, I, as I've already said, and as you can already see, yeah. <laughs> You know what, let's just get back into this. Also, though, I do want to say sorry um, for not doing this on for not doing this yesterday, even though I should have. But I just I, I, I just felt too lazy, honestly. And also because Monday bank holiday, so it's my free day. So I should be able to get one of these done for tomorrow. So, you know, hey. But yeah, anyway, sorry, let's just, let's, let's just get into this, um, for this, no, sorry, for this video today, I'm gonna be react, wait, I'm pretty sure I said, yeah, yeah, no, sorry, sorry, I was just, I was just wondering if I said, hey guys, it's me, Zabia, at the beginning, but I should've, it's how I usually start this shit, <sighs> sorry, anyways, for this video today, I'm gonna be reacting to when one of the boys is Dangerously Delusional by Jay Lagoon. Luckily, I've never had a friend that was ever like this. Uh, none, of, none of the boys, none of the lads in my group were ever delusional. Unless we were exaggerating or joking around, whichever. But, but you know, that's typical shit. So, yeah, anyways, let's see how this goes. If you could only use your hands... What's the most dangerous animal you could take in a fight? Um, maybe a like a coyote or something? Okay, okay, okay. So me and you are kind of the same, because I said that I could maybe take on like a bobcat or some other type of small feline or... If it's in my weight class, I could beat up a kangaroo. Are you dumb? Did, did you not understand the question? Or... I can definitely take on a kangaroo in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's probably like the most fair fight that I could do. Maybe, I've, maybe if you had boxing gloves, mate, and also... No, my vo my volume is up high. Damn, that's weird. Regardless, if you had boxing gloves, yeah, maybe. Definitely take on a kangaroo in hand to hand combat. That's probably like the most fair fight that I could do. How is being killed by a kangaroo fair? All I'm saying is, if I was to fight a kangaroo a hundred times, I'm not losing a hundred times. With one arm? With two arms? You'd be lucky if you won ten fights. Maybe one. If if you get if you get lucky, uppercut the shit out of that thing. But no. If if you had if you had both if you had both hands, rather. One hand or well, one arm rather. No. 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 Zero. Zero. No. I didn't say I'm gonna walk away from the fight unscathed. I'm probably gonna die the next day. But I get it done though. You do know that kangaroos are not only freakishly muscular, but that they also have talons, right? I heard they can kick with almost 800 pounds of force. How are you gonna fight that? I feel like you would literally just have to get up close to the kangaroo and get them on the floor or something, and that's basically the end of the fight. Yeah! For you, up close is literally the one place that you don't want to be with a kangaroo. Dude, dude you asked to- Well, I mean, get him, get him, get him from behind, though. Put him in a lock like Captain America. Bring him down. Yeah, no, bring him, bring him down, but stay on his backside, even though it's going to hurt your backside like a bitch. But get him in a lock, put him down, and survive. Just, just survive. That, that's it. That's all you can really do. You break. If he ever breaks out of that lock, you're done. You're done. You're done. 
you're, you're done. <laughs> question and i gave you an answer i don't know what to tell you besides that but if there was a kangaroo standing right here right now i bet i beat that ass you are dangerously delusional you know that right your level of confidence is troubling okay so what what you want me to change my answer or something okay what's a step down from a kangaroo uh, like a, a chimpanzee maybe are you out are of you your stupid? fucking mind a chimpanzee will rip you to shreds before you can even think to fight it. Are you guys serious right now? I think I could take a chimpanzee in a fight. They're literally like a smaller, lesser version of the human being. <gasps> What's with that reaction? But watch, watch National Geographic. Watch him. Watch his videos about chimpanzees. Mm. Mm. Or watch, or watch the movie. Nope. Yeah, no, that's literally what it's called. Just, just nope, nope. Makes sense though. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, no. I think I could take a chimpanzee in a fight. They're literally like a smaller, lesser version of a human being. <gasps> Racism in twenty twenty four. Wow. <sighs> Twitter in a nutshell. Or, or just you know. DBA to Dragon Ball Z fans. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Smaller, lesser version of a human being. <gasps> Racism in 2024. Wow. Come on, bro. If I was to really run up on a chimpanzee and put the paws in that monkey ass, I'm talking about three piece and a biscuit combo with a side of mink. What is a chimpanzee really going to do about it? That bitch is delusional. If you had the misfortune to land even a single punch on a chimpanzee. That would probably be the moment in their evolutionary history where they developed the ability to speak. At which point their first words would be, I eat those. <laughs> Just before I ripped your fucking head off. Using only your bare hands. A bear. Just, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, but I could take. Yeah, I know. I said cat, but really? Oh, wait, I can use both hands? Actually, yeah, no. With one hand, probably only a cat. With two hands, definitely a dog. I don't know. I don't, I don't know uh, the types. I don't know the, all the names of the types of dog. By, off by heart. They're like that. That has the perfect weight, the perfect weight class that I know of by heart. That I could, that I believe I could easily box up. But yeah, pretty pretty much just a dog. I mean, anything more dangerous than a dog? Well, I know of other animals that are more dangerous than a dog, but I mean like. That sort of thing. Eh, I don't know. Well, you you guys uh, say you guys say in the comment section down below what other animals there. Pardon me, sorry. What other animals there are that that you think you could take in a fight? And I'll and I'll see if I could as well or not. Hmm. Or I I'll just. I'll just call you delusional if if the type of choice you think you can beat. I know I can't beat. <laughs> but but yeah, anyway, sorry. Um yeah, that's the end of the video. Be seeing you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Bye.